Well, it's four days to the AKT state governorship elections, and the Independent National Electoral Commission says it is ready to conduct a credible and inclusive election in the state. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu disclosed this at a meeting with election partners in the state capital, Adoikiti. Assuring the people of a heat free process, Yakubu is urging citizens to exercise their voting franchise without fear or intimidation. He said, quote, For us in INEC, let me reassure political parties, candidates, and electorate that the choice of who becomes the next governor of Ikiti State is entirely in the hands of voters. INEC will not take any action to the advantage or disadvantage of any political party or candidate. Our focus is on the processes and procedures as provided by law. End quote. And for more on the PVCs as well as the build-up to the AKT election, we are being joined by INEC National Commission and Chairman of the Committee on Information and Voter Education, Festus Okoye. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Okoye, on the news tonight. Um, clearly from the reports we have seen so far, I'm yet to find one particular location where it seems INEC is on top of the game. I'm saying this because INEC did say that they did foresee a surge in voter registration, also sent out a couple more registration machines. My question is, what is going on? Why have the complaints remained the same? Well, uh, uh, I think that you need to put this whole thing uh, in context. And that context is the fact that the commission started the voter registration process, the CVR, in June last year. That is 11 months ago. Now, sometimes our registration officers register one single individual per, per day. And that has been going on for quite some time. Now, this present surge, uh, we've taking additional measures uh, to stem this particular surge. As far as the commission is concerned, we see this surge as an affirmation of the fact that the votes of the people we count is an affirmation of the fact that the, our elections are getting better. And it's also an affirmation of the fact that the Independent National Electoral Commission has been creative and innovative in terms of its processes and procedures. And Nigerians are becoming more confident in our electoral process. Based on this, we decided to deploy additional machines to areas of pressure. Mm. We deployed additional machines to Kano. We deployed additional machines to, um, uh, to Lagos. We deployed additional machines uh, to Oyo State and to the five states of the Southeast. Now, in relation to the Southeast, you must understand mm -hmm. that there has been very serious security challenges in the Southeast. In Idemli North, where you, uh, you, 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 you focused, we pulled out from Idemli North and we are not conducting the CVR in Idemli North. Okay, Mr. But now we have come back. Mr. Okoye, you say you have deployed more machines, you have taken measures to mitigate this, but those measures don't seem to be working. Uh, the machines are not working in some of these locations you said you have deployed more machines to. So what exactly is going on? No, what, what, what is going on? I, I think that Nigerians must understand that the Independent National Electoral Commission is not conducting a fresh voters registration exercise. This registration exercise is only for those who have never registered in their life. It's only for those who have attained the age of 18. If your PVC is damaged, you don't need to register afresh. If your PVC is lost, you don't need to register afresh. If you are transferring from one state to the other, or from one local government to the other, or from one registration area to the other, you don't need to register afresh. The people are rushing to the registration centers and registering afresh, no, not knowing, and some of them knowing, that their second registration will be declared as invalid. Secondly, I think that religious leaders, uh, market uh, leaders, and other people should assist the commission by not pressurizing people who have registered before to go and obtain a fresh registration. You cannot uh, 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 um, force 10,000 people, for instance, or 10,000 people to go to a registration center in a, in a day and expect law and order to prevail. It will not, hap it will not happen. So I believe that earlier. what is going on now... Is I want to go back to what you mentioned earlier. You did say that the surge 
um, is evidence that INEC um, is doing the job. It's also evidence that, um, you know, um, people's votes will count at the end of the day. And my question is, will it really count? Um, we just saw that report from someone in Kano who said um, the printout he got is not even visible enough. We have had, you know, um, um, voters, rather, who have also complained of the fact that they also could not find their names on the register. Uh, that isn't um, showing any signs of building confidence in the process. So when you say it's working, please clarify. Well, 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 well the, printout, the printout is only a... Hello, yeah. Yes, the printout is only an evidence that the individual needs uh, to go and collect his or her permanent voter's card when the permanent voter's card is, is, is ready. Uh, so it, it is really not of serious evidential value, only to show that you uh, have, done, have done your pre-registration and you are waiting for your permanent uh, voter's card. The chairman has promised Nigerians that we will do whatever is necessary and that we leave all options open to make sure that every Nigerian that is desirous of registering gets to register during this voters registration exercise. But those who have registered before do not need to register afresh. If your PVC is damaged, we will replace your PVC. You don't need to register as a fresh voter. If you have uh, lost your PVC, the same thing will apply. If you want to correct information relating to your date of birth or relating to your name or relating to your address, you don't need to go and register afresh. And so I believe that okay. there's a lot of disinformation going on. And that disinformation is swelling some of these uh, uh, challenges. All you right. Know, and, and that's why we have you here to clarify. There's another uh, report making the round, especially from Lagos. And the South is, even though you said in the South is because of the security challenges, that's why we are having that problem. In Lagos, the major opposition party, the PDP, is accusing INEC and security uh, agencies of voter suppression. Uh, they say you're in collusion. How do you respond to that? They say because a particular people from a particular tribe are not able to register. I wanted to respond to that. And tell us very quickly, how prepared is INEC for the AKT elections? We're four days away. Well, uh, the chairman and the other national commissioners just came back from Lagos and came into, into Ekiti. We had some of these reports. Uh, some of these reports are not the way uh, they have been presented. As far as the commission is concerned, every Nigerian who, any Nigerian who has attained the age of 18 is qualified to register. And you can register where you live, you can register where you work, and you can also register where you reside. And no Nigerian should be denied of the opportunity of registering, so long as the person does not suffer from any legal impediment. And that is the position of, of the commission. Well, thank you very much um, for clarifying on the news tonight. We have been speaking to Festus Okoye. He is INEC National Commission and Chairman of the Committee of Information and Voter Education. Time